Well, it is raining in Miami, raining a lot, just in case you want uh, to, um, <laughs> to hear the, the weather forecast. But anyways, hello everybody and welcome, happy Friday, welcome one more time to, to our customary live streaming here of every Friday. I hope you are, uh, are, are doing great. I certainly am back uh, from our um, two-week uh, trip to to the Nordic countries, to uh, Finland, Norway, and uh, and uh, Sweden. Sort of, we just pretty much drove through through Sw Sweden. We didn't do much there, but but we enjoyed uh, Finland and uh, and we enjoyed Norway tremendously as well. Even though the weather wasn't uh, very good. Like today, here in Miami, we, we just had a big thunder like uh, 15 minutes ago and then started pouring down. It's incredible how hard it is raining right now. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? I had a bunch of things that I wanted to announce before I got into the chat. Um, oh, we, we've got the, 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 it looks like the Fly Pelican Fly t-shirt is going to happen and uh, I'm in touch with this company. Um, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Probably by next week, we're gonna have an answer and a final design. And um, and uh, I, I, I hope I hope you you guys like it. Also, I just got a PO box. So if you guys want to send me stuff, uh, it's on the screen there. PO box one four five zero one two Coral Gables, Florida three three one one four dash five zero one two. That's me, Robert Morales. You can send it to. And. Um, you know, because a lot of people have been asking, you know, sometimes uh, they want to send me stuff. And I mean, I've been thinking of doing like a, like a live mailbox section here every, every Friday. Another announcement here, I'm, uh, I'm, I think uh, this, I'm, I'm finally going to um, make the switch, get a new computer, because this uh, old Mac is getting really, really slow. And uh, I might be doing the switch uh, to PC, believe it or not, yeah. This hell, uh, hell froze over, but um, I, think, I, think, I think it's going to be the best uh, choice for what I need at the moment. And we can talk about that a little later if you, if you guys want me to elaborate. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a whole deal because I have to learn a new editing software and all that. But it is going to happen. Let me read this chat here real quick. Chad Reno, good evening. Dianelis Chile, hola. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Traveler. Uh, Mrs. Traveler. Uh, Ted Warg, uh, it's raining there too. Uh, uh, and the culture, lifestyle, travel. Hello there, Eric. And uh, it's good to see you guys too. Good to see you, Ted. Uh, thank you. I'm very glad to be back. Uh, Bjorn TV CX in the chat. Hello there. Traveling Buckeyes uh, from Huber Heights, Ohio. Welcome home. Thank you so much. And Barry Bluth, Bluth. Uh, evening. We're back as well, getting ready for a downpour. Yeah, in here in Miami, you just started raining you know, cats and dogs. And Leanne, uh, glad you're back. Okay, yeah, we're back. Okay, I mean, that, that flight was super long and a little bit of uncomfortable. I think that uh, Boeing uh, 787 Dreamliner is really overrated. Uh, I mean, it's a nice plane and all that, but uh, give me a 747 anytime. I think it's a much, much better, much more comfortable plane, in my opinion. Uh, send Robert some gas cards. <laughs> yep. Uh, how are you like Norway? Lots of mountains. Norway was beautiful, Bjorn. And we were in the northern part of Norway, and as, as we were driving from Finland, and Finland is beautiful too, but this, this fjords are like, are, are like something out of this world as, as we, we drove north. And let me see if I can show you my screen here, uh, the, the, the area that, that we drove as, as, as we uh, approached uh, Nordcap, which was like the final destination of the trip. Um, oh, man, it was... Uh, yeah, we, we, you start seeing all these snow-capped mountains and you get all emotional, oh, snow-capped mountains, but within two hours, everything is a snow-capped mountain all around you and these cliffs are going into the ocean. I mean, it, it, it was really, really beautiful. And uh, we, we, we enjoyed it a lot. It, I, I, it was, this was a trip that I really deserved one month, not just the, the two weeks that we gave it, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. 
Alex. What did I say? I didn't say Alex. <laughs> Brother, you know, it's uh, I, I'm, I think I'm still a little jet lagged. What did I say? <laughs> Eh, eh, Alejandro García, buenas tardes Robert, ahora mismo estaba mirando el video de Bahía Honda State Park, yeah, Bahía Honda was a, uh, that, 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 that was a pretty cool trip, it's, it's a shame that Bahía Honda was, still wasn't open fully, uh, you know, but it will, uh, greetings from California, hello there, a big fan of yours, uh, hope to be traveling soon, great videos, thank you Albert Brock, and uh, culture, lifestyle, travel, Alex. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, do you know what? I I'm, don't I'm, you know what's happening. I haven't had my beer yet. And very uncreatively enough, I'm having a, an all-day IPA, like the last time I did the video here from Miami, because I had some left. I bought that, is it like a 23-pack or something like that, that they had on special? I did not drink uh, Mintu. I don't think so. I had a lot of good IPAs, but... That's pretty much all I drank. Elizabeth, hi Robert, to you and yours when you when you and your wife coming to Charleston, South Carolina. Nice filming and narrating, watching from North uh, Charleston. Definitely, I want to take the, my wife to, to to Charleston, South Carolina, uh, at some point soon. Have you ever thought about doing a live video on Instagram and interact with your culture, lifestyle, travel fans? Well, I started doing today. Actually, let me let me do something real quick. What I started doing today was uh, that new uh, Instagram TV that uh, they launched uh, yesterday. So I've been doing a couple of videos. I don't know if that's gonna work. What I don't like about the Instagram videos is like they disappear after you finish. And now plan the New England trip. Yeah, the new. Uh, right now I'm I'm I'm. Still trying to finish the Kentucky videos. Uh, I have a lot of work ahead of me, but uh, in about two weeks, I'm going to start yeah, in, in, in full planning mode for sure. When can we expect some of the videos from your last travels? Well, uh, Finland and Norway are going to have to wait like a month, uh, probably. I want to finish Kentucky. I want to go in order. Um, how was it driving stick shift camper? It was actually, it was like driving a bicycle. You know, like riding a bicycle, you 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 kind of get the hang of it really, really quick. And I drove stick shift. I had a stick shift car in the late nineties until I bought uh, old Kia in two thousand four. From nineteen, I think I had a Nissan two hundred SX from ninety six, and then I had a, a, a Kia Sedona. No Sedona. What's the Kia? The, the the the, the four door car that they have uh, that they had in the nineties, Safia, the Kia Safia, a red one, stick shift, very cool car. It was pretty fast actually. And then when I bought uh, old Kia on, on two thousand four, I didn't drive stick anymore. But it was very easy. I mean, this it's a six speed uh, manual, and I, and I was used to a five speed. So it's the gears and, and, and a diesel. So the gears are a little different, and you usually your RPMs are lower than on a, on a gas vehicle, but I got used to that too, so it, it was okay. The, the only, the only uh, difficult part about driving stick is sometimes, you know, I have my camera ready when I see something. I grab the camera, I film something while I'm driving, you know, it's kind of safe. I'm still looking ahead. I just have the camera looking to the side or whatever. And then I have to downshift or do something with my right hand and all of a sudden I cannot be filming. But that, that was the only conflict with the stick shift car. Otherwise, that those Fiat Ducatos are really, they're really nimble, really, they, they drive great. The only, the only problem also is uh, the side window, the, the, the actual window is, is kind of small and it has like this pillar in the middle. So it's very hard to film through the side window without actually filming that pillar in the center. But other than that, yeah. Uh, yeah, not the greatest visibility. Uh, it should be hot in there, floor. It's incredibly hot in here. Today I started installing uh, the soft start for my air conditioner, and uh, I, I had to stop. I had to go inside. <laughs> I'm a long-time iMac user, and I also have an old Mac. Consider format and renew your drive. Do the research. Um, I, I, I want I want to get the newest processor and the newest video cards so so I can you know process the videos faster. 
and it doesn't look like like um, Apple is really interested in interested in, in in giving us a powerful laptop at this moment. You know that they're they're just interested in making it thinner and lighter and with less ports. And I want to have ports. I want to have card readers. And uh, Dell is offering that, so I'm I'm going to make the painful switch back. Uh, and uh, and that's that, you know. In the end, the computer is a computer. Uh, welcome back to the USA. Good to see you. Thank you, Road Wonder. Uh, drink a Mintu with your beer. Uh, I don't even know what a Mintu is, but... Uh, okay, Paul Abood, welcome back. Have a question. Have you ever been to Oldsmar, Florida? It's near Tampa, I guess near Safari Harbor. Think about relocating. I wonder if you know how safe the neighborhood. I have no idea. Uh, first time I hear of Old Smart, so sorry I cannot. Uh... I gotta get you some good beer, yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks. We, we we still gotta go to Wing with one of these days, and uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, the air condition the air conditioner in Kia it fixed itself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's it's one of those things. Like that, that car, we just want. Uh, then you were not in Finland. I didn't. I didn't go into a sauna and I didn't drink that stuff. So I, probably I didn't. Uh, I, I were not in Finland. Windows will bring major viruses. Now, nah, as, as long as you don't click on, on weird stuff, I, I, I had Windows. I, I, in fact, I still have a Windows machine here without an antivirus. And as long as you're going through a, through a firewall, a gateway, and and you don't click on spam. Uh, uh, you you don't get viruses. It's a, it's really a myth. Max can get viruses too, in, 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 even in that sense. Great to have you back in the groove, Robert. I'm happy for you to have a special journey overseas, but I missed you here on the home turf. Thanks for sharing your great adventure. And William Storm, uh, nice to see you and hear you back. And happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you, William. Uh, greetings from Williams in Bruges, Belgium, Europe. Where it is uh, 12, 12 in the morning. That's one thing. The, the, the time change really threw me off. Finland is even an hour later. So it is 1 a.m. over there. And that's why I couldn't do the, the live videos. Uh, because I was exhausted, really. But by the time I, 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 I set up camp, I was exhausted. Uh, Alejandro, quiero hacerte una pregunta. Si en alguna vez tuvieras que cambiar tu auto, ¿por cuál te gustaría cambiarlo? Uh, and he's asking if I wanted to change my vehicle, what would I get? And I, I really hope um, old Kia is my last regular vehicle. I want my next vehicle is going to be a, a B plus uh, RV, it's something in the 23, 24 foot uh, long range. That's my wish, especially after driving a, a, a small motorhome in Europe. Um, yeah, I'm hooked. Uh, welcome home. Glad you had a great adventure. And I can't wait to, to show you those videos where I, I was, where I was able to park that motorhome uh, in, in the middle of the city. I've been watching your channel a while. Please uh, see uh, a four message. Great question, Alejandro Garcia. <coughs> I want to know too. Yeah, I, I, and uh, the, the thing is, uh, if I'm going to spend the money on a truck... And you know trucks are expensive. You, it's gonna be sixty grand for a for a new truck. I'd rather spend sixty grand on a on a slightly used B plus. You know, and may, maybe even use it as a daily driver. Who knows? Uh, uh, culture, lifestyle, travel. Uh, Alex, I got I I got to get that out there and help a man. Being so busy at work, going to make some time for my friend Robert. Yeah, man, maybe one of these days, if it doesn't rain, we, we can hook up. Uh, Charlie Otwell, uh, should, you should do a video on the do's and don'ts of pulling an RV. Yeah, definitely, I should do that since uh, I've, I've done a few of the don'ts, of the don'ts. <laughs> like, uh, like, don't go on Route 66 uh, when you don't know if you're going to be able to turn around and those kinds of things. A uh, nice shirt. Have you seen the John Waters documentary? No, but I, I was there. I actually bought this uh, from a guy living on a, a, a on a fifth wheel right at the entrance of Slab City. Uh, thank you, Chris Efting. Thank you for uh, that. Welcome back, Mike Brewer. 
uh, I use Dell, render time is a little long, but quality is great. And uh, let me tell you, I'm not just getting any Dell. I'm getting the state of the eye art Dell. I'm thinking of getting the new i9 processor, uh, eighth generation Intel. And um, I think it's 16 gigs of uh, RAM. I I'm going to get a computer that is going to last me a few years, like, like this old Mac. Have you made time for your music lately? I have like three new songs recorded in here in my phone that I am going to uh, be composing. One of them is for Norway. One of them is kind of... Uh, it, I came up with it in Sweden, but I might use it for Finland too. And uh, yeah, I have some new music that I'm going to uh, compose for the, for the European videos for sure. Do you have any more overseas traveling plans in the future? I don't have any plans right now, but I do want to go. Maybe not next year, because I want ne next year I want to complete the lower 48 states, if if if, if at all possible. But um, eventually, I mean, and this is a longish term plan. I want to do like six months in Europe. Uh, do like like when in Rome travels, you know. His uh, check check out his channel by the way. When in Rome travels, it's a family of five that they rented, they bought. A camper van and, and, and spent uh, like six months in Europe and that's uh, more or less what I want to do. Um, Jackie Trujillo, hey Robert, welcome back, we miss you, thank you. And uh, this Sunday video on, on Thunder over Louisville, what's it's the next Sunday video going to be after this Sunday? It's the rest of Louisville, I mean we, we went to Bardstown with uh, my cousin Juan, we went to, uh, with my mom, I went to LaGrange, and uh, we went, we actually toured the Louisville. We, we had a behind the scenes uh, kind of tour of uh, Churchill Down, Downs because my cousin, well, my cousin Juan's daughter, Lori, she works at, she, at, at Churchill's Downs. So we, so, we, so we got to go there and see the horses. And, you know, right before the Kentucky Derby on a very rainy day, but still it was, it was really cool to, to, to see the, to see it from, from behind, you know, from behind the scenes. And uh, all that is going to be on the next uh, Sunday, and probably some more stuff. I still have to look through all through all my footage, because it's, it's some some of the stuff is slipping off my mind. You know, my mind is getting slippery as I get old. Mm, that's good to hear. Well, maybe we can do a collaboration video in Wynwood. Wynwood. Yeah, that would be great. You know, I have I have never actually been to the to Wynwood Walls. I've seen it from the road. I've passed by it, but I have never actually. Mystery Persona, check out my songs on SoundCloud. The name is R Rosway. Well, God, I'll check it out for sure. And everybody, check it out. Uh, Oliver Mintu is a hundred proof peppermint drink that is traditional spirit in Finland. You know, I bought I bought some vodka. I, <laughs> that, that, that's why I thought that it was the, the traditional thing. At this, this store, the only place that sells uh, alcohol in, in Finland is this, this chain owned by the government called Alco. At, the, at least the name is appropriate. Um, good evening from Baghdad. Hello there from Baghdad, huh? Wow. You may be the, the furthest one today. Uh, welcome back. Glad you made it back. What, what time is it in Baghdad? It's, it's probably like really early in the morning, right? And greetings from Maastricht in the Le Netherlands. The Netherlands is another, uh, another place that I want to visit. And I, and I saw a lot of motorhomes from the Netherlands, especially in Norway. Uh, thank you, Dur Dur uh, Durori, Nadav, uh, Oliver, Mintospirit.com. I'll check it out. Master Voice, what size engine do you, is your present auto? I plan to get a small travel trailer, but I have a small Chevrolet Equinox. I wonder if I can pull it with, with the Equinox. I really don't know. My, my Kia is a V6, 3.5 liter, and it's a rear wheel drive with a big uh, differential, and I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't had more trouble uh, towing. Uh, would the van like the Russos use be what you're interested in or would that be too small? Something like that for Europe maybe. In the United States, as long as I'm here, I want a black water tank. I don't want a cassette toilet and that's a controversial issue. You either love it or hate it. Uh, and I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. You know, if, if, if I am in Europe or a place that doesn't have a dump station infrastructure, I'll, I'll settle for a cassette toilet any day. But if, if, if I am uh, traveling exclusively in the U.S. and Canada, I, I want a black water tank. But um, to me, it's a little small, the one uh, that the Russos have. Actually, watch my video that I, that I did with Johnny and, and Sarah 
and they are full-timing in a very similar van in Finland. And there's, for some reason, seems to be a lot more spacious than the Heimer Active. I mean, it's really coming down out there. I hope you guys can hear that. It's like, it feels like a hurricane out there. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of this Salton Sea duck close enough geographically. Haha, <laughs> is there on YouTube? I think I think the I think a couple of documentary documentaries about the Salton Sea. Very very fascinating story. Retired and prepping. Hello from Tennessee. Hey Tennessee. And uh, C Smith up. Uh, hey Robert, just jump in here. Glad you're back. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. But. Uh, you know, it, it was a little bit of a rushed uh, trip, but I wanted to see so much, like I always do. Uh, hello from Rio de Janeiro. Hello there, Brazil in the house representing Asha Walker. Hey, Robert, uh, Ace Calzadilla. Started to watch your videos two weeks ago. I'm hooked, Robert. I'm from Hialeah, and you make me want to buy an RV. Is, is it raining in Hialeah as bad as it is raining here right now? Oh, um, Robert, have you retired? You seem more relaxed and chilled. I'm not retired, but uh, I, uh, YouTube is my job now, um, and I'm a lot more relaxed and chilled. Uh, you know, you know that the thing that really got me about uh, cubicle life was that commute to downtown Miami through Little Havana. It was like an obstacle course every day, but um, but yeah, I'm very happy. And, you know, YouTube, little by little, is, uh, is starting to, to pay off. I just uh, reached uh, uh, no, 48,000 subscribers uh, yesterday, I think. Do -do -do -do. Um, Rio de Janeiro was the next destination. The next destination is the northeastern states of the United States, although I might do a quick trip to Key Largo in a couple of weeks. Uh, you inspire me to travel. I apply for my passport. Uh, Good for you, Asha. It's, it's always good to have the passport because because you never know. And uh, even though it's uh, the 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 plain part of the travel is 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 the part that I like the least because it is not comfortable. Once you're there, it's 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 really enjoyable and it's a, it's a very educational experience to see. There's a bug in here to see how other people uh, you know do things and. It's all. Even though a lot of it is the same, let's say you know, it's everything. Many things are just a little bit different. The way that the, even the way this, a supermarket is organized is different than the way we're used to. C uh, Smith, I I love your video of my hometown Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm really glad you liked it. I was pleasantly surprised by Chattanooga. Uh, Lisa Pitts, I just added you, and I'm following you on Twitter, so I won't miss a video. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, and uh, it's just after 1 a.m. in Baghdad. So you are you are the same time zone as Finland, huh? Interesting. Please contact me, contact me when coming here. I went to California back in May and I enjoyed it there. Yeah, California is very nice uh, to the Netherlands. Okay, I'm, I'm going back and forth here. None needed. Netherlands, not next year, but probably the year after. I would, I would love to go across the pond to. Although, another thing, I have never been to South America, so I, I would love to go to South America. I've been to the Arctic Circle twice. I would like to see the equator as well. It's, it's my fault that you bought a travel trailer, Alex. <laughs> By the way, has anybody seen Eric, our, our mighty moderator? Uh, did he forget that it was Friday? He was. Uh, he texted me yesterday. I, I'm like, are, aren't you? He's, I think he's a little confused. He text, texted me yesterday uh, saying, aren't, aren't you going to go live on YouTube today? <laughs> a new subscriber from Albuquerque. Albuquerque, I like your icon. Very nice, very nice place, Albuquerque. I liked it a lot. Um... Amsterdam checking in. All right. Can't wait to get back myself next month uh, since there is no RV RVing here. Uh, no, right. <laughs> um, love the rain sound so calm. I'm glad you do because this is just really pouring down. Um, uh, Ed Hardy, welcome back from Ohio. Can't wait to see your videos from Finland trip. Any plans to head north of Ohio? 
away sometime, maybe as part of this northeastern road trip, because nothing is written in stone yet, and I might uh, make a detour to Ohio, but uh, I'm not sure. I've been there. I loved Ohio when I was there in 2011. I went on a rental RV because I didn't have my own travel trailer at the time, and it was very, very nice people. Everybody is, is very, very nice, well, at least the people that I met, you know. The, the, um, in Jensen Beach too. Yeah, I, I wonder what's going on with this weather, man. Because let me let me go into my my weather app here. Because this is like really really hardcore storm we're having here in Miami right now. I mean, I have no windows back here in the studio, but it sounds really bad. Yeah, weather underground says light rain and thunder. Yeah, light rain. My um, yeah, we have a big red. I wonder if I can show you this. If I go to Chrome, no. Why? There. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to show you. There are my layers here in the Wonder Map. That's because I had it for. It's really windy and really. It's really coming down. Oh well. It'll pass, but yeah. And it was it was sunny like an hour ago, and then all of a sudden there was like a rogue uh, thunder, and boom! It started coming down like. Like crazy. I'm getting emails here. Hold on, guys. Bear with me here one second. Uh, I'm going to have to skip some of these uh, chats because... Uh, hey, thank you so much for that super chat, man. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Hershey, meet and greet. Bikes, boats, bivouacs. Bivouacs? Bivouacs? I have no idea how to pronounce that, but thank you so much. I appreciate it and... And yeah, Hershey meet and greet. Is, uh, it's it September fifteenth or something like that. It's less than two months away. Which uh, really looking forward to that. I'm not gonna go back in the chat, guys. So if you if you wrote something and I didn't answer it, write it again. I apologize, but you know it's it's getting crazy. Uh, Alejandro Garcia, in case you had to change your car, think you would look great in a Chevrolet Traverse, uh, 2017, and so you would travel the USA in an original brand of this beautiful country. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I would love to get a big truck, but uh, I also want a, a B plus, and uh, I don't know if it's worth the. Maybe I can get a, a used Traverse. Um, any plans to celebrate the fourth? Friends, family? No, I'm just gonna be here. You know, watch the fireworks. I want to post a video from two years ago about a celebration I did. And uh, I think I'm going to call it uh, Independence Day Cuban style. You'll see. You'll see. It's, uh, I have that video in my archives. We went to a party with, uh, with the, actually with all the other members of the band. And uh, I just shot the video with my phone. But I, I think it's going to be interesting uh, the way we celebrate it. Hello, Cesar. Uh, Nick J, love, you. love your video. Thank you. Bikes, boats, beavocks, I remember this Scott B. Oh, it's Scott B. Oh, you should have said something from uh, Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. Welcome home. You owe Ileana four mojitos at least. Uh, at least. Maybe we should, we should go to Key West and have a couple of mojitos at El Meson de Pepe. Although last time they didn't treat me that well there, but I'll forgive them because their, most, their mojitos are really good. Uh, Robert, have ever been to the Amish uh, country in Holmes County, Ohio? Nope. I haven't been there yet. Uh, I'm going to go to the Amish uh, area of, of uh, Pennsylvania, of, of course, uh, Lancaster. But, um, oh, Paola Casuccio, hello from Italy, La Italia, hello there. Uh, culture, lifestyle, travel. Wow, heard the thunder at your house in your video. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's, it's really, it's, it's a pretty bad storm. Biv wax. Biv wax. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, I'm a little slow today, guys. Let me get a little more of this uh, IPA. 
And I know I shouldn't be drinking this from the can, but I didn't I didn't feel like like whipping out a, a glass today. You know, it's one of those days. And Nick J, you are the best in the world. I don't know about that, but thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. I appreciate it. Um, uh, so plans for 4th of July, I already said it's going to be a quiet one this year, most likely. It's absolutely gorgeous, dry 80 degrees in Connecticut. Oh, thank you very much for rubbing it in. <laughs> I'll rub it in when you are uh, uh, at, um, um, you know, 10 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 75 here. <laughs> Uh, Traverse uh, towing capacity 1500 yikes to 5000 be careful I got the one the, the one with 5000 with 5000 for sure old Kia is 3500 barely adequate I wouldn't recommend it but you know I'm, I'm doing it can you tell us some more about the food please you mean the food in in, uh, in Finland well, we had we had some delicious uh, salmon, and a lot of smoked salmon. Delicious! It's 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 amazing. And then we, we also had the uh, uh, soup. All the soups there are like cream based. We had a salmon soup. I had reindeer. And then in Norway, I also had a, a fish soup that was superb. And my and my wife had the the bacalao. Awesome. The food was generally really good, very expensive. Like if you to eat at a sit-down restaurant, it, 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 they can rack up the bills, especially when you convert from euro to dollars. You know, it's even a little more. Um, uh, actually, my favorite was a very simple thing. It's like an open sandwich that then Yoni uh, from Fantastic he told me that it's actually a Swedish invention, but. Um, And I lost my train of thought. It's it's like this this flat bread, and they put like mayo or like a, some kind of salad, you know, like a white savory su substance, and then some veggies, and then they slap either a, a slice of, of of dried reindeer or or some some smoked salmon, and that thing is delicious. You're gonna watch it in the you're gonna see it in the video. I showed some video of me eating that stuff. Uh, Love your videos, great videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. It would be great if you shared more of your heritage with your viewers. Represent. Uh, yeah, at some point I have to make a video, like a lengthy video about my coming to America and my heritage and all that. Uh, and the food. And hey, Robert, reporting here from South Texas, RV Freedom. Hello there. Don't forget Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona is pretty cool too. My husband wants to travel cross country, Sarah Fam, uh, because of your videos. Thank you for posting traveling videos that are actually entertaining to watch. Uh, we also enjoy your music. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, traveling cross country was a dream of mine. And I can't wait to do it again. And Eric is here. You keep losing your days. Thought today was not Friday. You, Man, yesterday you thought that what well, yesterday was Friday, and now today you're MIA. So I don't know, man. By the way, uh, just a, a moment here, I want to thank Eric for this very special card that he sent me. And that's a photo of uh, Ili and I at the Arctic Circle in Lapland, uh, Finland. And he also put a picture in the back here, the, one of my favorite pictures of the whole trip. That's in Nordcap, in the, at the northernmost point in the world where you can drive. And here's a picture of, um, of me and the, and the European motorhome. On the way to on the way to Nordcap, and this was June eighth, twenty eighteen. At I, I really I really want to appreciate. Uh, I mean, I really I want to. I really appreciate this this uh, great uh, detail that you had, man. This uh, this is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this uh, forever. It's very nice. I appreciate it, Eric. Um, Look at in your phone. Cherry Springs State uh, Park, Potter County. County Pennsylvania, you would love it. I'm gonna save that definitely. Uh, best place, best place for stargazing. So, a uh, Cherry Springs State Park. I'm, let me just do it here in my phone, actually, uh, because you know, otherwise, you know, I'm gonna forget. I'm not, I'm not gonna come back to this ch chat and then uh, Cherry Springs State Park. 
And I'm gonna say that uh, Ted recommended it. How do I save? I think they changed the Google Maps app. They keep changing things. Um, anyways, uh, uh, we are heading to Toronto soon. Do you have any recommendation? Oh, Toronto is a great city. It's, it's like um, the, the great thing about Toronto is there's food from uh, all over the, the the place because there 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 have immigration there from many 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 countries. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a lot of variety of food. Go to Toronto Island. Uh, it's, it's a great way to, to, get, to, to get great views of the city. And um, just enjoy the city. It's, it's a, it is a great city. The, I, I don't know about many places like destination uh, uh, places to go, but just enjoy the downtown. You know, it, the whole city is like a downtown. It's, it's a very dense city. It's like a New York kind of type of city. We went to the top of the... Of the this is the Space Needle. Now, the CN Tower. <laughs> CN. Um, uh, have you ever been to Memphis, Tennessee, like Bill Street and, of course, Elvis's Mansion? Yes, I was there uh, two years ago as part of our trip to, to Chicago on the way back. We did we did Graceland, of course. We, yeah, that's the place that you had to do at least once or, and maybe only once. It's great, but it's, I, I, I wouldn't repeat it. And we did we did Bill Street too. It's coincidentally we were kind of tired on that day, so we didn't party much on Bill Street. But it looks like like a fun place, and I love uh, live music. So um, we owe uh, Memphis a, a second uh, chance for sure. Yeah, the intercourse area of Lancaster County is nice. Lots of places with some very suggestive names. Yes, I, I see that intercourse. I have to take a picture with the intercourse uh, sign, you know, like like if I was a 12-year-old, because we all do, right? Um, what is your favorite place to go in Florida? I have many. The, the Florida Keys is always a place that, that has, has it's a special place in my heart. I like the, the Mat Lache Island on the West Coast and Destin on the Florida uh, Panhandle. And thank you so much, uh, Joe P., for that super chat. Uh, thank you for the awesome videos. Oh, brother, that, that thunder sounded like a bomb. <laughs> uh, you ever consider getting a hybrid travel trailer? What do you mean by hybrid uh, travel trailer? Um, go to Savannah, Georgia, and then Columbus, Georgia. I've never heard of Columbus, Georgia, but I've been to Savannah, beautiful city. Very, very, very pretty town. Hey, from British Columbia, Canada. That's another place that I need to go uh, probably next year. Bernie May, hey, enjoy your videos. Love your music. Thank you so much. And Mike Brewer, have to log off. Thor is uh, throwing lightning bolts everywhere here. Thanks for sharing your travel adventures. Hope to chat again soon. Yeah, man, we might lose power any moment now with all these uh, uh, thunders here too. Road Wonder, you are so blessed with a oh, terrific speaking voice. I think you chose the right vacation vocation in this media center time in history I love your work what would you have done if you were born in 1900 uh, i don't know maybe i would have written like you know as, as as you know like travel stories i would write books maybe take pictures with a with an old big big full frame camera one of those with the i don't know it's it's a it's it's a great time to be alive. Let me tell you, even ten years ago, this this ten years, yeah, but twenty years ago, this would have have been possible. I would have had you know, to to get a deal with uh, the Travel Channel or something, and now I can do this on YouTube. So I'm I'm very I feel very blessed. I'm very thankful, very grateful to be alive in this era, for sure. It's, it's the, the greatest time to be alive. Hello, Robert. Glad we you are back. What's your next plan? What do you mean by Northeast? By northeast, I mean, I I mean driving north. I want to see West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and then all the states that I haven't seen in that area, like like Massachusetts, Rhode Island, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, uh, Maine, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one. Delaware, uh, the rest of New Jersey, because I've been in the part that is right next to New York. The rest of New York State, I would love to see too. Uh, maybe even go up to Canada to to the Maritimes. <laughs> Man, we're getting a really, really bad thunderstorm here. 
I hope we don't lose the internet anytime soon. <laughs> and Judah Mil Milhomen from Brazil. Uh, Justin James, uh, recently found your channel. Love the Florida video. My favorite and Pete's. Mm, pass a grill. Uh, hope you come to Minnesota area. Yes, I, I can't wait to go to Minnesota. And uh, that may be um, about the, around this time next year. I don't know. I want to do the Northwest. And Minnesota is not the Northwest, but it's on the way. Uh, maybe, um, you know, as, as soon as it starts getting warm. Uh, retired and prepping. It is sun thundering here too. Hope doesn't get too bad. Yeah, this is one of the worst uh, storms that I've seen this year. And the Red Jaguar, thank you so much. Thank you for that super chat uh, to help with your next uh, trip. Thank you. I appreciate it. And the next trip is probably the next big trip is the one where I'm going to go see you uh, up in Pennsylvania. So um, it's a really bad thunderstorm. Uh, any plans to tour Australia? Uh, no plans, but wishes. Yeah, I would love to. But I think I would need a couple of months for that. But I would love to get a uh, motorhome. Actually, I would probably have to buy one and, and spend two or three months just doing Australia. I read this book a few years back, and of course, it's a book. It's an older book. It's, I think it's from the from the eighties or the nineties. It's called "In a Sunburned Country" by Bill Bryson. Wonderful book, beautifully written, and. Uh, after I read that book, I really, I said, you know, I have to visit Australia at one point. It's great distances, but as, as you know, as you noticed by this, this last trip that I made, I don't mind driving long distances. And uh, I would love to, to of course, be, maybe begin in Sydney and, and go west into uh, Melbourne and Canberra, which is the capital city, and then continue west. And uh, Perth is the one on the west, right? Uh, and that one's really, really, really out of the way. Maybe I will fly to that one because that one's really out of the way. But then I would love to go north into the center, Alice Springs, and visit uh, Uluru. That's, that's that red rock in the middle of the desert. And then go up the way, all the way north to Darwin. And and I think it's a, it's a better it's a better way to to to, um, to see a country than just flying from place to place. Uh, I, I think driving and it's it's a much better way to see a, a foreign country. And the good thing is that they speak English, so uh, you know I'll be able to to you know find my way around. The only thing I'm nervous is about driving on the left side of the street, and then driving stick shift on the left side of the street. You know that the stick is on my left hand, but I th I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, welcome home, Robert. I have to admit, I find myself singing your theme song, Rim Jim from Santa Barbara. Thank you. Thank you for that. Welcome back. Come back to Chicago area, Joliet specifically. You can boondock in our driveway. Forget the HOA rules. Uh, thank you. Yes, I, I, I do want to visit Ch Chicago at some point again on the area. Uh, maybe on my way in, uh, up to Michigan and then Wisconsin, we'll, we'll pass by Chicago. Um, whoa, that was very cool. Heard the thunder here and then heard yours in the Miami area. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a different thunder, Eric, but yeah, it's a uh, welcome to summer in Florida. We get one of these almost every afternoon now, probably. Uh, thank you for your videos. Do you plan a new video from Florida? Well, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of going to Key Largo in a couple of weeks before going to the Northeast, so yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do a couple of uh, trips here in Florida before the long trip. Uh, because, you know, like Shakedown Cruise, I, I need to do some maintenance on old Kia and on, on a Mini Tini too, you know, like pack the, the wheel bearings and all that, that I have no idea how to do it, but I'm sure uh, my friend Alex is going to show me how to do that. Um, where are you originally from? I was born in the island of Cuba, in the city of Havana. Uh, Yes, and I came uh, when I was uh, 17 years old. And Road Wonder retracted a uh, message. Um, what campground is Red Jaguar affiliated with? Uh, I don't know. Storming and pouring rain also in eastern Tennessee. Oh, well. How about a cruise? Volcano time lapse. Uh, I don't have a cr any cruises um, planned, to be honest. I'm not crazy about cruising. I, I, I think, yeah, it's if you want to be pampered and just be on the boat and not do much else, yeah, it's fine. But 
if, 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 if you go to the, the ports of call, you know, you stay there four, six hours, that's no way to see a, a place. So, but I do want to take a transatlantic cruise. Maybe the next time I go to Europe with time, you know, when we are really truly full time traveling, uh, I wouldn't mind taking a, one of those repositioning cruises that, you know, it, it takes a week to, to get from here to Europe. And it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia has great campgrounds near and plenty of culture and beauty. I'll be heading up the East Coast uh, next summer. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia, that's the capital. And uh, it has like a golden dome. I, I've driven through, but I, I've never stopped. But that's the plan to stop in, in Charleston on the way north uh, this fall. A culture, lifestyle, travel. I'm hooked on saltine cracker with butter and sprinkle of sugar now. <laughs> I did it as a kid and I'm doing it right now. Yeah, they just, just saw my video, huh? <laughs> I used to love that stuff. I haven't done that in, in a while. Dude, uh, a hug from Brazilian friends. I want one day to to know the uh, one, one day to know the Amazon and its incredible food. Obrigado. And I do want to, to, to go to Brazil at some point as well. But I'm thinking, and I have this great adventure ideas in my head that may or may not come to fruition. But I, I you know, I'm, I'm really thinking about. I, I want, I want to do a, a, and for that I will have to take a, probably a class B with a cassette toilet. Uh, but uh, into South America, I just do a, a road trip in South America, do the Pan American Highway, but also go into Brazil, and I would love to to, to visit the Amazon. And the Brazil of Rio, Sao Paulo, uh, you know, Salvador de Bahia, uh, Recife, of course, the the, the um, Brasilia, the capital, which is in the smack in the middle of the of the of the rainforest. Uh, yeah, great people, great country, great music, Brazil. So definitely a uh, bucket list. Um, uh, Abhijit is, is, is storming. Okay, in Tennessee too. <laughs> um, the weather crazy or or or. Claiming Finland was the weather crazy. We had all kinds of weather actually. The, the the couple of days where I needed the weather to be nice, it rained the the whole day, the whole time. That was in Lofoten, um, Norway, because I wanted to do a couple of hikes on those mountains, and uh, it didn't stop raining. And in theory, I could have done it, but it was rainy. It was kind of cold. It was miserable. So um, we didn't do much. But still, it's 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 a beautiful area. And then in Finland, for the most part, we had nice weather, especially the last two days. It was beautiful. The, that last the, the, the day we spent in the city of Rauma, which is a beautiful city. Wait till you see that those videos. And the last day in Helsinki, we had beautiful weather. And also the first day, you know, when we missed the flight and we had to stay in Oslo, Norway for one night. That day in Oslo was uh, incredible weather, 75 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Yeah. Uh, I, I will show you how to pack it. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the ball bearings. Yeah, it will be in Miami mid July. Is La Carreta real good on cafecito? La Carreta is okay. Um, it's hit or miss. For the most part, they're really good. There's a lot of really good restaurants here in Miami. So um, there's La Carreta de Versailles, which is a little touristy, but it's good too. And then uh, I, there, there was one that, that um, you know, you know which one I really used to like, and I, and I have I haven't been there in a while. It's one called Havana Vieja. It's really good. Havana Harris is also uh, another one in Coral Gables that I like. But there, there's so so many different places, and that, those are the classic ones. And now they have these fusion places like Ball and Chain in in Calle Ocho, but. Um, uh, I usually order uh, takeout from this place nearby. It's called Latin Cafe, and it's it's plain Cuban, but it's really good. The, their service is not great when you eat there, but they have good delivery. Um, yeah, it was supposed to rain for several days. I don't know. I haven't che checked the forecast here in Miami. We have had a couple of nice days, but... Anyway, Road Wonder must have sh shared mom's recipes. Oh, heavens, Cuban food, you, you must have your own too. Do you think having a car carried by a trailer along with RV is better than just renting a car? Hmm. Having a car carried by a trailer along with RV? Uh, yes. 
I, 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 I would think so. That that's what a lot of people do when they have the, the large big rigs. They they tow a car. I mean, it, it's not my travel style at the moment, but uh, I know a lot of people do it and it, it works out for them because renting a car it could get expensive, right? And how about having a meet and greet in, near Chicago when you visit again? I'd like to meet you and your wife. Definitely, uh, I would love I would love to to do that um, when we visit Chicago again. And if you do make it to Chicago, I'll get some of my cousins' craft beer from Morris Brewing. No, that's great. Talking about beer, you know, it's it's hot in here today. Uh, you know, the the air, the air conditioning is not keeping up with the heat here in Miami today. Ah, good stuff. Brazilians are good people, have many, many relatives there. My dad was born in Sao Paulo. You love the people, the food, the scenery. I, I think so too. I, I, I love, uh, I really like Brazilian food, at least what we have here, you know, uh, the picanha and, um, uh, well, the picanha is pretty much all I know. Oh, feijada, they, they do, it's, it's like, a, like a bean soup. Feijada is absolutely fantastic. I love it. El Pub on 8th Street by the Domino Park is good. Yeah, that's a good Cuban restaurant too. Uh, and they have El Exquisito also nearby. Uh, Justin James, I'm inter interested in starting a YouTube channel for exercise. Where did you learn how to produce your videos? Well, this, it is something that I always liked. For, from the time I was a teenager, I, I, I used to edit videos with two VHS uh, machines, you know. And... Uh, then I did study uh, TV production in college. Uh, I never quite finished, but I did study the the the, the, the main uh, production classes. So, but most of it I learned by doing. You know, no, nobody really, not even college, nobody really teaches you uh, how to how to edit video. And every, every software is different, really. And the thing that you just just have to, and this is something that is really hard. But you have to cut a lot of stuff. Some sometimes there, there there's a video and uh, and I have to I do like three passes. But because sometimes the the to to me it's so interesting to see. But I know that it it, it might be boring for for certain people if I leave a, a scene too long. Sometimes I do, but uh, and that you get with practice. You get the flow and eventually you. You, you, it's like a rhythm, and everybody has a different style. So, um, uh, oh gosh, when I went to school, we had the Media 100. This was the late 90s. <laughs> um, thank you for the good food info. Uh, okay, I already read that. Hello, Robert. Uh, Justin, I'm doing the same. I use Filmora. What's Filmora? Diogenes Paula. Uh, another Brazilian here. Love your videos. Great job. Thank you so much. I have so many viewers from Brazil. It's really great, uh, really great to know, to, to, to know, really great to be able to reach people from, from all different countries. Expedition Overlanding Nomadic Adventures. Hey there. Hey, Robert. Uh, to escape the heat of South Florida, come up to Vermont, New Hampshire, and upstate New York. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to spend... Uh, July and August uh, down here, but um, do you ever plan on going back to San Antonio? Yeah, I really like San Antonio, and I, and I was there for only a couple of hours, so yeah, it's in the plans. Maybe next year. You know, right, one of the plans, and this plan changed, I had to change plans because I, uh, my friend Peter e, in, in Finland offered me this motor home, and I said, yeah, I have to go. You know, I, this is... Uh, but right yesterday, uh, the VidCon conference started in Anaheim, California, and I wanted to go. I wanted to take the RV to Anaheim, California, this time of the year. Of course, I didn't. I, I, that didn't happen. But next year, by this time, I have too many plans for next year. By this time, but I would love to go to VidCon in 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 California, which is the the biggest conference for YouTubers. And um, yeah. College is a complete waste of time, money. That's my opinion. Hands on uh, is uh, is more practical. Yeah, I think for some, uh, I mean, let's not be that drastic. For some professions, uh, you do need 
that formal, uh, you know, uh, training. If you want to be a doctor, for example, or an, an engineer, you don't want, you know, to build a bridge that is going to fall down. But for things like arts or, you know, a, a lot of practical stuff that you can do in life, um, yeah, you, 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 you learn everything on, usually with experience on the job. Uh, Wondershare Filmora is a software for editing videos. Easy to use. You know, by the way, uh, Alex, I'm in the market for a new editing software, so I'm going to try that Filmora now when I get my, my new Dell computer in a couple of days here, in a couple of weeks, actually. I don't know. It's, it takes like two weeks for them to, to send it. Filmora. I'm going to check out Filmora because uh, I'm, 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 I'm testing Adobe Premiere. And I really like it for the most part, but there's a couple of things like the organization, the, the organization of the clips, and things like that that it's gonna be hard to get used to. But um, we'll see. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna check out that film more, see if it meets my my needs. But eventually, I think I'm gonna just suck it up, uh, you know, bite the bullet, learn Adobe Premiere, which seems to be the industry standard, and Adobe After Effects. I would love to learn Adobe After Effects. Uh, like in a good way. Do you think sleeping in a truck, how they talk, just as comfortable as an RV? The Kenwood, yeah, like the, the big trucks, some of them are as comfortable as an RV. I've, I've seen people who have prepared them and they, they, you know, they even have a toilet and they have a bed and it's, it, it, you could make it very comfortable, especially the, the, the large, uh, the large, you mean like a semi truck, right? Yeah. And Goshal, hello there. Uh, gosh, that's, uh, you are one of my, my early subscribers. Uh, great to have you back, Uncle Robert. You stay with us when you come to the Netherlands free of charge. Thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate it. And I can't wait to go to the Netherlands. Actually, I, I spoke uh, pretty extensively with, with a, a gentleman from the Netherlands when I, when I was in, in Lofoten, Norway. We were uh, uh, camping at, at this beach. Oh, wait till you see it. Wait till you see that video. It's it's. Don't forget to hit the like button, people. Yeah, hit the like button. Thank you so much. And uh, hello from Charleston, South Carolina. Another very pretty town, by the way. Very very pretty city. Um, uh, okay. You mentioned the next uh, scheduled travel is the Northeast. Are you planning to come to West by Washington D.C.? Probably not. Although I hear there's a campground very nearby. But uh, I am probably not going to do Washington D.C. this time. I really like it. I really like the museums, especially the, especially the, the the oh man, the Air, Air and Space Museum is one of my favorites. And I and I I I will return to Washington at some point and and do a new video because <clears throat> the last video that I did of Washington was in 2011 and I I wasn't that good back then, you know. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, this traveler, my college had equipment that was like 20 years old behind in the, the what was in the field. Well, I don't know if I, when you went to, to college, uh, Cyberlink Power Director, I'm going to check that one out too. Uh, I don't know when you went to college, but this for me was mid, mid to late 90s. I think it was like from 1996 to 1998, 99. And and we, we 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 got to use the facilities at Channel Two here in Miami, where where they filmed the Kepasa USA in the seventies, and they still had the same cameras from the nineteen seventies. There was these huge uh, tube cameras, and the professor always was, you know, bitching at us, not to point them at the studio lights because we could burn the the solenoid inside. The, the, you know, the, these were cameras from the nineteen seventies um, that we used to practice. Um, and then we edited it with, with super VHS uh, tape. That's what they had for us to edit. On, only a few students uh, got to play with the Media 100, which used to crash all the time. It was one of the first uh, non-linear editors. Well, uh, nowadays, everything is non-linear editors, editors. But back then, that was like the latest technology. On, an, on a, It was on a Mac, the Media 100. I'm talking, yeah. And this wasn't even HD. This was, you know, HD wasn't even a thing yet. It looks like a lot of people are using Filmora, so I'm going to I'm I'm gonna you know give it a, a shot. Maybe I like it if if it if it has uh, uh, you know everything I need. 
Any plans of going to the Philippines? We don't have RV facilities here, but we have one of the world's best beaches in the world, like Boracay and El Nido. Yes, I've seen videos of El Nido, uh, Palawan. You're always welcome here. Thank you so much. And at, at, at one, one, one day, I do want to visit that part of the world. Um, probably not in an RV. Uh, it's, it's a totally different uh, part of the world, but I would love to visit the Philippines, most uh, definitely. Uh, someday, someday, Patrick. Uh, hello from Slovakia. Cheers. Uh, Slovakia is another country that I want to visit, by the way. Bratislava, the capital, I think it's very close to Vienna. They're like the two closest capitals in Europe. They're like, you know, just a, a few kilometers away. But yeah, Slovakia, for sure. There, you have these mountains. I forgot the name of them right now that are very famous. I read this book about all the Eastern Europe com countries and uh, a, a lot of them are not technically Eastern Europe co countries but it talked about Slovakia as one of them um, and uh, at some point I, 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 as I said I want to like buy an RV in, 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 in Spain probably uh, I'll buy it in Spain because I understand the language and it's probably gonna be easier to to understand everything and then I uh, I'll, I'll just drive it all over the place uh, as, as far as they let me drive it. And of course, I have this pipe dream in my head. One day, get, you know, get a, a, you know, everything costs money, of course. But get, get an expedition vehicle and drive it from Lisbon to Vladivostok, which would be like the longest road trip possible on the planet, or something like that. Um, Anyways, uh, okay, okay, then hope you will uh, you will do meet and greet when you happen to come. And thank you. You're welcome. Kurt. Uh, yeah, but Washington, D.C. Yeah, I <laughs> lost my train of thought there. But yeah, definitely Washington. Not this, not this year and probably not next year. But uh, within the next five years, I will visit uh, Washington, D.C. again. For sure. Hello from Vero Beach. Uh, how's the rain up there? I in here it seems like it stopped. Uh, have you ever done or will you do metal detecting? Also, what if you find and you find how old it was, etc. Uh, personally, I think that's exciting. Uh, yeah. I don't see why not. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's uh, it hasn't crossed my mind, but. It would be interesting. Uh, okay, this, 1992, graduated college, went to work uh, in the AV college, had VHS camcorders, but uh, <coughs> at where I worked, we had the studio cameras, beta tapes, and three quarters were used. Uh, yeah, I remember the three quarters, Umatic. The way beta cam SP was like the industry standard for many, many, many years. Uh, yeah, I used to like the beta cam SP, and then in the late 90s, they, they started coming up with the digital beta cam before tape became dead. Uh, but yeah, when I used to work at Gems Television back in the day, they, we, I used to, we used to have uh, three-quarter machines. I never qu quite did editing. I did an internship in there, but that was uh, about it. Um, oh, another one from Charleston, South Carolina. I really liked uh, Charleston, uh, by the way, and I, and I can't wait to, to go back with, with, uh, with Ely. And um, and spend more time there for sure. I just did a one day walking tour at the um, Mjorn Swedagon. As you were in Finland, Finland borders northwest Russia. Would you one day visit further across the border to Russia, for example, Saint Petersburg? And I al we almost did. Had we had a little bit more time, they have a ferry that goes to Saint Petersburg, and I think if you go in the ferry, like they waive the the visa for like two days and I have something in my glasses here so yeah definitely anything fun planned for when you reach 50,000 subscribers uh, I haven't planned anything yet but for sure it's going to be uh, it's going to be a celebration that's like the halfway point to the to the mythical hundred thousand and um, According to Social Blade, within a year I'm gonna reach a hundred thousand at, at the current pace because you know it's like a, it's like a, an exponential curve. You know, you it keeps accelerating, accelerating until one day you plateau. But um, and it's gonna coincide uh, more or less with my birthday, 
my 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 projected fifty thousand uh, dates. So I'm getting about two thousand subs uh, per month. So in about a month, more or less, I should be reaching that fifty thousand mark. Mm. Yeah, it's incredible how much we've grown. We've grown together in the in the past uh, year or so. When I started doing this full time, actually, when when you dedicate your hundred percent energy to something, you know, usually uh, stuff happens. And I'm, I'm, I feel very lucky. I'm very blessed to be able to to do what I love. That that much is certain. Hey, in Kilargo, we're hoping to bump into you down there. Uh, yes, I, I'm I'm thinking mid July, uh, probably in two or three weeks. That's when when I'm I'm going to go down there. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. The other day I bought a, 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 it was on special on Amazon, I bought an inflatable kayak. It was almost like an impulse buy, to be honest. And, and uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to test it out in the calm waters of the bay side of the Keys. Uh, Alex, I'm heading Asheville. Any suggestions? Asheville is beautiful. Uh, hi from Colorado, the greeting... Not the state of mind. Oh. The green, not the state of mind. Rick Lovato. Caleb Thompson. Okay, now you're you're speaking among yourselves, right? Uh, anyways. <laughs> wow, Lisboa to Vladivostok, Russia. That would be amazing. You you sh could go to Mongolia. Yeah, definitely. It's on the way. Uh, I know the roads are not great in some of those central, uh, the, the, A the Asian part of, of, the, of Russia, but that's what I would need an, uh, an expedition vehicle, like an earth roamer. I would love to do that. Did, did, you did it take long to perfect uh, flying the drone? I tried flying and it wasn't easy for me. Well, with this new drone, the, the Mavic Pro, it, 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 it's a lot easier to fly, especially the, the first drone that I had, it didn't have much technology. I, I even flew blind. I didn't know what the drone was seeing, so it, it, it was challenging, but, you know, it's, it's like everything, you know, it takes time and eventually eventually you get the hang of it and I've and I've started to get my signature moves like uh, one of them is I pan slowly to the right while I while, while the, the the drone is tracking to the left so it, it almost it's almost like going around in circle uh, around something that, that's one of my favorite move, moves now and obviously just pulling back and going up 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 like that from your subject that's another one that I love but you know, it's uh, it's practice. Uh, hello from Kentucky. Hello there, Kentucky videos coming starting this Sunday. Yeah, the rain stopped from now. Thank goodness. Um, LOL, traveling Robert will go to Disney. I'm just joking. When he reaches fifty thousand, hey, maybe you never know. <coughs> but um, Actually, it's probably that weekend that I'm going to be in the in Key Largo. That's probably the weekend that I, that we're gonna reach the fifty thousand. I mean, it's hard to predict, but more or less. The thing I like most with your work is you let us see what to expect in one place. So if we go on vacation, we know how to plan effectively. Well, you know that's that's part of the uh, my my thing. I want I want to give you guys some value. You know some. Besides entertaining, besides inspiring you to to live this lifestyle, and you know, give you, give you something of 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 of, um, of, of you, you, some utility, you know, uh, learn from my mistakes, uh, I guess. Uh, well, advance happy birthday, Robert, uh, on to your one hundred thousand subs. Yes, I, I am. I, I am going to hang that. That it's it's like a certificate that they give you with a with a silver play button, and it's already seven oh eight, man. So seven oh nine. Time is flying today. Uh, what app do you use to find your campgrounds? Um, for the most part, I use uh, Allstays. Although lately they, they don't seem to have everything in the United States. Allstays uh, Camp and RV. It's probably the most complete one. And for for boondocking sites, I've used uh, free camps free freecampgrounds.net. I'm also a member of Harvest Hosts, although I haven't had the best of luck with them. But uh, 
you, you can find places where you can stay for free, basically, as long as you patronize the, the business, you know. Uh, Chuck uh, McIntosh, when I was a lot younger, I wanted to go from Alaska to the southern tip of South America. That's a long way to drive. Not very practical, though. The thing is, and I met a couple who did it. I met them in Alaska, of all places. Um, the thing is that Darien Gap in Panama, I don't know what's wrong with these people that they don't finish the, the, the Pan American Highway through there. So it's a, pain, it's a pain in the rear end to ship your RV or your vehicle from Panama into Colombia. And that's, that's the, the, the most uh, difficult part of the trip. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's just a stretch. It's like 50 kilometers of rainforest that they haven't finished the, 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 the Pan American Highway. But they must have their reasons that we shall not question why. Are you planning to come back to the Sebastian Inlet State Park? Um, at some point I will. But I don't have any plans like uh, for today or tomorrow or I mean today, tomorrow or for, for probably not this year. But uh, eventually, yeah, I want to visit that area again uh, for sure. Uh, we didn't get the best weather when we went. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, and I want to go to the other campground, that the one that is on the northern side of the inlet. I hear is better. Um, Robert, how do I get this lab uh, shirt? This one, you have to go to Slab City and talk to the guy in the fifth wheel on the right, right after the welcome sign at the booth, the welcome booth. He sells them. He sells jewelry. He sells a bunch of stuff there. Or website. Okay, I answer that. Um, Red Jaguar, remember when we had a, a handful? Uh, look how he's grown. So cool and a blessing. Yeah, you know, when I bought the RV, I had like 6,000 subs or something like that, or 5,000. And, uh, and it, you know, I, I started, uh, I, well, I started the channel, uh, I, I started putting videos online in my other channel in 2008, and I even made him like a, like a video podcast, because YouTube was very, very brand new, and, uh, and there was no way to monetize anything anyways. And then in... Was it 2010 or 2011? I, I decided to make a channel specific for travel because that's what I really wanted to do. So, um, retire and prepping, how are you getting your subs so fast? It took me months to get to 6,000 subs. Well, as I said, there's no overnight success. I've been doing this since 2008. And, um, and really, it, 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 it took off after my California video. I wish I could show you the graph right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, one video, one day, it, it had a bunch of views, and then I started getting subs, and, and just, you know, it, it kept growing. And certain events uh, have helped me. Uh, certain timely videos have helped me, but, uh, yeah. Eight months. You're talking about to get 600 subs. Uh, sometimes it takes a long time, you know, I, I, I was under a thousand for a long time and then, especially when, when, I, when I bought the RV and started making videos so, uh, more consistently, it started growing and from last year till now, which I've been putting a, a video consistently almost every Sunday, it keeps going up and uh, I'm really great. It goes up and down, you know, but it, 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 it's, it's like the stock market generally. It inches up, and then you get it down and goes back up. Uh, Handy Camper, hello there, Traveling Robert. Just seen you went live and wanted to see wh what's new. Hope you are well, my friend. Yes, doing great. Uh, just got back. I think I'm, I'm still a little jet-lagged, uh, but... <laughs> <coughs> Do you love Malagueña? The the songs Connie Francis Malagueña Malagueña I haven't played that in a long time. Greetings from Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas! What's cultural lifestyle travel? Maybe, but won't be for free. Did I miss something? Maybe they'll let him stay at Fort Wilderness. Ah, Fort Wilderness. That, that's not the thing. It's not the... It's, it's, yeah, it's terribly expensive. It's, it's uh, over $100 per night. But the, the thing is, 
it's nearly impossible to to find uh, it's it's almost like Bahia Honda State Park in the Keys. I I've, I've never been able to find a reservation when I want to go to Disney, which is usually with the Food and Wine Festival or the or the the other one in Epcot, the the one in spring, the Flower and Garden Festival. Welcome back. Ready to take on the branding and merchandises. Your branding. Yeah, definitely, Paul. We have to talk about that at some point. Uh, by the way, the Fly Pelican Fly t-shirt, it's it's going to be coming out any day now. I've been talking to this guy, and I keep forgetting the name of the company, but he, he said that he was going to give me a good commission, so we'll see. We'll see. I, uh, I don't, I don't want to pre-announce it before I know exactly what's going on, but... But the Fly Pelican Fly t-shirt is coming, and hopefully it comes out good. Uh, Red, yeah, you're, you're planning on using Harvest Host again. Uh, I just joined, and I'll be using it for the first time tomorrow. Yes, I do. And the thing with Harvest Hosts is that it's also one of those places where you need time. You know, you, you cannot show up at, at 8 p.m. and just overnight. You know, it's, it's a place, it's like a destination kind of place. You have to show up when they're open. And consume and, and and for example, the one that I went in South Georgia was an okay uh, experience, but then the, the one near, uh, even though I called, but you saw that video, the video from Helen, probably I, I called and I asked him, do you have room for me tomorrow? He said yes, we, by all means. And then I showed up and the parking lot was completely packed. And then, at, you know, at the, at the moment, that's the the. I'm trying to find the word. I'm having one of those days. You know, it's the, unex the unexpected problem that then you waste one, two, three hours looking for a campground where you could be enjoying a, a nice IPA in Helen, Georgia. So, there. Um, I have lots of people following. Yay! Lucky Talk Productions, love your videos. Always feel like I'm there watching your videos. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Lucky Dog. Uh, Art Todd, uh, Robert, are you planning any trips back to Canada? Yes. Actually, as part of this trip to the Northeast right now, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going to the Bay of Fundy, which the, the Russos uh, beat me to the punch, but uh, I, I'll show it from my perspective. Uh, uh, go to LaGrange, Georgia. You will love it. Trust me. I've been to LaGrange, Kentucky, but never been to LaGrange, Georgia. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add, add it to the list. Shram 137, it's hard to travel by yourself at times. I'm thinking about RV, not full-time yet, but to see the national parks, I'll be traveling single. Yeah, it's not the same. It's it's always better to, to, to travel with someone, but... Uh, by the way, good luck. with Enjoy the, the, the national parks. That's one of, That's something I want to do, too, at some point. I want to visit all the all the state capitals and well, not all the national parks because some of them are really hard to to reach, but most of the national parks, uh, for sure. And my Petaway life, I enjoy your trip. Uh, thanks for bringing us along. You're very welcome. Actually, let me. Cheers. You remind me that I still have a little bit of IPA left here. Ah, good stuff. Uh, hi, Adam. Will you ever go visit Mount Rushmore? Definitely, South Dakota, Mount Rushmore, the Black Hills. It's uh, it's in the bucket list. It's just a uh, time, you know. You see the pelic, what pelic? Pelican fly. Oh, by the way, before before I forget, before we go, I want to thank uh, Jim, Jim and Ashley. O'Neill for that, um, where is it, for that pillow back there. Very cool. I really like it. Hey, hey Robert, me and my mother are addicted to your videos and we sing your song all day long and, uh, oh, it's up, it's up, it's up here now. I'm riding, riding on my RV. And we know the entire America now, thank you. You're welcome. Merchandising coffee cups. Yes, we're going to do the coffee cups uh, at some point uh, soon, very soon. Cecilia Favetta. Hello and greetings from Sao Paulo, Brazil. When you coming here? Uh, I'll be there. I'll make it there maybe not, maybe next year, actually, after I finish with the lower 48 states. 
I've never been to South America, so I would love to visit Brazil as well as uh, other countries in South America. So we might we might do something. It all depends on how much time we have and um, how well we're doing here. Uh, did you see the fly Pelican Fly logo I sent you on your messenger? Yes, I did. I did. As a matter of fact, I did. Uh, very cool. Gina Ambler. Where's my phone? Here's my phone. I have to I have to look at it. What? Let me yeah, hold on. Because I did. I think you sent it to me when I was in. And I deleted my WhatsApp. I have to put it back. I have a new message request. Yeah, that looks really good. We might do a, a version like that. There. Yeah. Uh, what's the longest you have driven? The longest in one day? Probably in the, on this trip to Norway uh, and Finland. Although the longest in several days from Florida to California, that, that was the, the longest trip for sure. And welcome back, Robert. Thank you for the autograph. It looks great, framed on our office wall. Oh, Dan and Charlene from Connecticut, of course. Um, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm glad you, you liked it. Um, when you do videos, you can show more foods, eateries, spot, show the foods. Uh, yeah, definitely. I try to show the food, but sometimes, you know, it's. I feel it's, it's kind of rude to be filming so much in a restaurant. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I will try to do a little more of those. Where is the immediate next place and when? Uh, as, as planned, Key Largo in three weeks, more or less. Darío, lamb chops. Hey, lamb chops. Hmm. Hello, Robert from Virginia. Hello there. Uh, headed to Amelia Island tomorrow. Any recommendations on places to go? The salty flamingo I really liked on the, on Fernandina Beach. Is, was it the salty flamingo or the salty pelican? Could be the salty pelican. It's a salty. It, just look it up. I'm going to look it up before we go. I like that place. It was good. It's, it was it had a festive atmosphere and an outdoor area and a bar. Um, greetings from the, from Crimea. Oh, really? I'm watching your videos. Uh, thanks. Wow, Crimea. That's you know that's an, another area where I would love to to visit uh, someday, someday. The the Black Sea. Um, Cumberland Island. Okay, uh, and Annette Estadella. Estadella. Hello, Robert. Some of Cubano uh, traveling to Ones, and we love your videos. Thank you so much. I'm going to check you guys out. Uh, traveling to Ones. Can I copy and paste from the chat? Ah, I missed the S, but okay. Cool. I'll check you guys out. The traveling to Ones dot blogspot dot com. Okay, free plug here. Cool, you've got a travel trailer. Cool, I'll check it out. And I closed the chat, I think. No, I didn't close the chat. Here we are. Oh, this is one of the longest uh, videos we've done, huh? Uh, 101 people watching at the time, 102. I don't have my mouse. <laughs> uh, hola, Roberto from England. Zero uh, zero fifteen here. Love your videos. What are you? Where are you going next? Um, Key Largo and then Pennsylvania and beyond. Uh, what traveling Robert showing his Amelia Island video was enough for me. Yeah, that 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 video was pretty. I I, I actually kind of liked it. The beach is not the greatest, but it was a cool little town. What has been your favorite place that you've been to? 
Oh boy, that's a that's a tough question. There, there are so many places that it all depends on the circumstances, and um, that I, I cannot name just one place, you know, because whenever I travel, the, the next trip I find a place that kind of surpasses the previous one, and it depends of what I want to do, like. When I retire, I might want to go to Mount Lachey, Florida, but I liked Mesa, Arizona as well a lot. Like, to be right now, um, still, uh, that area, the App 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 Appalachia, Appalachia, you know, from northern Georgia through Tennessee, through, you know, that, that area is still, I like, I like it, like, it's it's not the the greatest cities or the greatest natural beauty or the greatest this and that, but there's something about the vibe and the people and the, the mountain culture that I find extremely attractive. I, I love the music too. And what's being okay? Uh, more of the nature type of guy versus city views. Yeah, I like both actually. I enjoy enjoy both both. I, I've you know I've I've always been a city boy. I was born in in Havana, which is ostensibly probably the largest city in the Caribbean, and I lived in Madrid and then in Miami. So I've been a city boy all my life, but I do enjoy the, especially the expansive landscapes and the mountains and the deserts. Uh, I are usually my thing. Uh, Tennessee near Gatlinburg and great Smoky Mountains. Camping here uh, uh, blah, 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 until Tuesday when then heading back north. Absolutely beautiful there. Yes, and I'm, I have a Tunas. Okay, pronounced Tunas. Tunas, I see. Uh, I thought it was like town ass. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to me. But uh, not the next video, not the one after, but the one after that. It's it's going to be Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a, it, even even though Gatlinburg is a tourist trap, as far as tourist traps go, it's it's not a bad one. Let's just put it that way. It's a fun little town. I had fun there, drank some uh, moonshine, uh, thanks to Alex, who recommended that place. Uh, hi, Robert from South Carolina. My husband and I love your videos. Thank you for all you do. You're very welcome. And Peter Harriak, Harry, Harry Jack, uh, from uh, Boom Dem. Hello from Boondaberg, uh, Queensland, Australia. Uh, hello there, mate. Uh, no, good day, mate. Right? Is that how you say it? Uh, how do you find your towing mirrors? Uh, when trucks go past and vibrations and welcome home. Thank you. And the toy mirrors are great. They, they work great for the most part. And yeah, they vibrate with the wind. But uh, I like them. I like that model. I would buy them again. It's, it's simple, you know. Um, we may be having our side or bubble hanging with us in September. Oh, really? Uh, I have never met him in person, but uh, uh, yeah, the bots... Uh, they, they seem to be really, really cool folks. I, I would love to meet them as well. Uh, you are welcome here in Brazil. I would love to. I, I, I will go to Brazil at, at some point, someday. S sooner than later. Ooh, that beer. Mike Purvis, new fan, love the travel more camp. The travel more camp night. More camp nightlife. That's what you want to see in my videos. So maybe we'll we'll do. You know, I, I, I'm still working on my on my fire, uh, my fire making skills. Um, how much does it cost a month, James Dames, for RB for beginners? That no? let me rewind here. I'm going. I'm reading too fast. How much does it cost a month for RV for to RV for beginners? That what should we know about how much money you spend a month? RV gas, food, everything total. Give me an estimate a month. The thing with RVing, you can spend as little as you want or as much as you want, and it all depends. Gas, I it's 10, 10 miles per gallon. It depends how much you travel. You do the math, and you can stay at free places in Arizona, almost indefinitely or very cheaply, or you can you can spend uh, 
40, 50, 60, 100 dollars a night at a resort. So it, it all really depends. It depends on, on, on what you want to do. And I'm not a full timer, so I cannot give you a, a, like a like a budget because uh, we, we are not quite there yet. Um, Ted, War, uh, Robert, uh, uh, where would you live if you could choose to live in other places besides Miami, a place you've been to, obviously? Where I would, actually, I would love to live many places, but uh, where I would probably buy a piece of land and to, to park my, my trailer at some point, uh, I'm thinking, I'm still thinking, I, I like many places around the country, but I'm thinking the, the, the northern Georgia mountains is the place, a place in the, probably near Blue Ridge or LEJ or that area. Um, you, you're still within a couple of hours of Atlanta if you really need to take a plane anywhere in the world, Atlanta. Atlanta is right there, big city, or if you want to do big city things. And um, still, you are up there in a beautiful, beautiful uh, mountain country. And uh, I found the people to be great, great people. When you retire, you're pretty much there now. No, I'm not not re quite retired. Um, actually, let me let you guys in on a little secret. I, I don't ever uh, intend on retiring, like retire, retire. I don't plan to retire. I, I want to be doing something you know, until the day I drop that. Yeah. yeah. Retirement in the classic sense, I don't see it in the future. Uh, my life. I like your every show reviews that you do. Please continue when you get a chance. Your every show reviews. RV show. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, uh, now in Pennsylvania and the, the Hershey RV show, I intend to do a, a few um, a few reviews for sure. Salt, Salty Pelican. Okay, that's the name of the restaurant. Uh, glad you like the logo. Yeah. Um... Oh man, I'm, I'm getting tired here. Uh, Norton Newman, Robert, check your Honeysuckle Meadows RV Park outside of Sevierville. You'll love it. Excellent views of the mountains. I'll check it out. Uh, uh, let me actually, I should open a tab and do it. Ted Warg, I, he, I heard it gets hotter in Georgia than in Florida. I don't know, it gets really hot in Florida. I, I, I don't know if it's like a different uh, type of, of heat. But over here, it's so humid. It's like hits you in the face. That's probably why I didn't go to a sauna in Finland because we get a sauna here every day, every afternoon. It's a sauna <laughs> if you if you walk outside. Uh, by the way, they pronounce it sauna, not sauna. Sauna is... Uh, uh, do you like country music? Actually, I do. I, I, I really like uh, country music. Mo most kinds of country music I like. Uh, great to see you. Look forward to your next live video. Hope it's soon. Take care. Well, um, Mjolnir, Mjolnir, it's uh, every Friday at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I think it's 2200 UTC. Midnight in most of Europe at this time of the year. Uh, Will Hill, temp-wise, yes, but the humidity here is horrible. Yeah, that's that's the, the thing with South Florida. Um I, I prefer the dry heat any any day, but then again, you, you, this place is out west, like like Phoenix, Arizona. You when, once you get to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know. I've never experienced that, but it must be uh, quite horrible. I I, I I presume. Well, everybody, we've been at this for 90 minutes, and if you guys don't have any more uh, questions, so we're gonna start wrapping it up. Let me show you something that I bought in Finland and in Norway because. Uh, as you know, we, we didn't take Minitina the trailer over there, but it was there in spirit. So in that spirit, I'm going to uh, add two stickers to Minitina the trailer. The first one, this one from Finland, whole two euros I paid for it, <laughs> and uh, this one. And then, I don't know, it, it came with three, so I'm going to probably put the largest one and... Uh, and then save the other two for my future RVs, I don't know. But uh, since Mini Tini, the trailer was there in spirit, and, and of course we couldn't drive it across the Atlantic, uh, Mini Tini is getting a Nord Cap sticker, northernmost point in the world where you can drive, and then Finland, because it was the country that hosted us. That's really cool. Once again, thank you, Eric, for the postcard, man. I really appreciate this. 
it's it's really really a, a great uh, that's a great picture I took and thank you MFH Airstream for those uh, for that super chat those twenty dollars I really 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 appreciate it thank you so much and um, welcome back thank you yes it's good to be back we had a great time in Europe and uh, have a good night and you enjoy your weekend yes we sure will actually uh, yeah today I spent actually all day taking a crash course in Adobe Premiere you know and and, and I oh, I'm almost confident that by now I could edit a video in Adobe Premiere if I really had had to but I'm gonna keep my options open for new software to to edit the videos since I am slowly going to be moving away from Macintosh and back into Windows and my IPA is gone I was too live in Jacksonville but but born in Valdosta Valdosta gets pretty hot too by the way yeah I spent the night in Valdosta without my generator big mistake I should have taken my generator oh boy Premiere Elements, easier than Premiere and you own it. Yeah, I, I know, I, I might try it. But then again, I also want to, to learn Adobe After Effects because, uh, you know, I, I have to, you know, up my game, you know. In, I'll, I'll, I'll try Premiere Elements and see if it has everything I need, uh, first of all. And I'm going to miss certain features about Final Cut Certain things are so easy to do, but uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, Apple is not making a, a good enough computer right now in the in the portable, and they're so expensive for what for the amount of computing power that I'm getting uh, on a Dell machine. It's 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 uh, you could I I could max out a MacBook Pro and it and it wouldn't have the same amount of power. Um. Hit film for Express before committing to uh, AE. Okay, I'll check it out. Hit film, huh? That's good to know. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm also thinking of uh, Sony Vegas. I think the motorhome experiment, that's what he uses, but I'm not sure. I used, I used to use Sony Vegas uh, 15 years ago, and it wasn't bad, but they're all different. They all had their pros and, and their cons. Okay. Anyways, enough rambling, guys. Thank you so much for, for being here. I, I really, really appreciate uh, being able to be back with you guys and doing this, uh, this Friday live uh, videos. So um, see you all next week. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. See you on the road, as I always say. And uh, keep it subscribed. How do I turn this off? Ah, should I sing a song? I, I'll sing a song next week. Uh, I, uh, Express. Yeah, I, I would. I would love to keep chatting about uh, uh, about the um, the. Let, let's chat next week about uh, video editing softwares because I haven't committed to anything yet. Uh, bye.